Hey everybody, uh, market's just about to close. Today I'm going to tell you about, uh, show you how to do support, resistance, and trend lines. So if you like what you see, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So I have some charts up here already. Uh, remember on my channel, I have a video that shows exactly how to set up charts for scalping, which is what I'm going to show you today, support, resistance, and trend lines for scalping. Although they really, the, the support and resistance lines, um, particularly the trend lines, would really work for any type of trading, but I'm specifically going to show you how I do it with um, scalping. Another thing you can get on my um, channel is um, you know, the, a complete chart setup, of course, but also a platform setup. So I'm, I'm pointing that out now because I'm just going to go right into what I already have and you might not have it set up this way. So if you want to get it that way, just go to my channel. You can get all that. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. So I have Apple up here right now and I'm going to start with trend lines. So I always lock on my, my charts up here. I always lock um, the tools on each chart. So right there. So, uh, and then they're up here, then you just lock them up here. And then I cha you can change, I change what I wanted up here, which is a trend, a price line, and then I wanna be able to pan. This is pretty much my go-to. This is all I use when I mess around with my charts. And I, and I talk about that on my chart video. Okay, so right now, this is on a weekly three year for Apple. You should really start there. Um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna jump right. I have another chart set up here. You should really start here, which is quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, four hour, one hour, overwhelming, right? It sounds overwhelming if you haven't done this before. But the thing is, is once you, once you mark these out one time, the quarterly and the monthly and the weekly, you pretty much don't have to mess with these every day or anything. The thing that I mess with every day are mostly the one minute and the five minute time frame. Uh, because I'm only scalping an hour into the day. So yes, I am looking for big support and resistance lines that are carried over from huge differences that the big funds might move in and out. And, and you need to know when these big funds are going to come in and out. And they're looking at the big long-term trend moves and stuff. And they might dump, you know, hundreds of thousands of shares. Uh, I mean, I know they dump, you know, based on a quarterly or a monthly, a weekly over a 30, 20, 30 year period. So knowing where those are, are pretty important. You probably won't come across them very often in your scalping. But um, when I, what I'm gonna show you on a weekly chart and daily chart and one minute and five minute, you kinda wanna have something made up so originally you've marked it out. You don't have to necessarily keep it on your setup all the time, but you'd wanna mark it a, a, a bigger time frame away if you're trading one stock a lot, like I trade Tesla and SQQ a lot because I love the volatility and I have a bunch of videos of videos how you can pretty much make a living on those two stocks very, very safely making 100 to $200 a day. I mean, that's not a living for uh, everyone, uh, but if you, for small share size, I have a video about that. Make a living, small share size. Um, and you're making 100 to 200 dollars a day. So that's um, something else you might want to watch if you're interested. In, you know, it's pretty. It's I don't want to say guarantee, but it's pretty easy if you follow the simple rules on the support and resistance and cutting your losses to do that. Okay, too much time on that. So trend lines. So you'd start down here at the low on the weekly, mark it out, and now what you now you you're typically the common theory is you want three taps, and if it's at a pivot. Like it's really turning around. It's even more important. So I'm running this across looking like from where I started. It's like, well, there's one, two. There's a third one hitting that. There's a fourth one hitting that. There's a fifth one hitting that. I mean, that's not a bad spot right there. Right there would maybe be one trend line. So I left clicked after I clicked on trend line. And then I left clicked again. And then it got locked in there. And once you make a line, you can go in and edit that line. And you can make it, you can call it anything you want up here. Uh, you can change the color, you know, here, and then you can change what you want to make it. Like on a on a weekly, I would probably keep it this this big jagged line because then I'm going to remember, hey, this is a pretty serious line. I need to take it very seriously because it's done on a weekly. So the further back that has those many taps is a more serious. Now we could do it again. We could start at the low again and then look here. It's like, hmm. This is why this one might be interesting to do is it does have two taps here. It had a, tap, a third tap just 
the other day, the day before, I mean, right in this area. And now it's here right now. So I would want to mark that. And just to show you, you know, it's, it's like, oh, you're right over the top. But what does that look like when you move to a one minute? It's just a straight line. So when this starts to come back up, you're like, whoa, take, take pause. Is it going to blow through that? Is it going to turn around? So that's why these trend lines are so important to think about it that way. So that was, uh, let me go back to the weekly for a second. And then you can say, you can show a uh, ascending resistance. So um, if, the, if the stock is going up, let's go to the high and mark a trend line. So there's a double tap here, another tap here. This is a really good spot. If it gets up here, you know, it may turn right around. Now, what, what makes these work is that it's basically everybody's drawing the same line, right? Everybody's watching the same thing based on this, two, three, four taps. So, uh, you know, there's all kinds of high frequency algorithms that, that control the market and big funds stuff. So it's just, it's not a for sure thing, but you definitely want to mark them out. And then the next thing you'd want to do is you'd want to go, I would want to go to the day and I'd also do that type of a thing. I'd look at it and see, hey, what does it look like on the daily chart? There's my weeklies coming across. You know, they're not exact on the day. You could tweak it on the day, you know, but maybe you want to start with some support and resistances on the day. Those were trends. So I'm clicking here to price level and I'm looking for a support and resistance. So you know, this, if this just went straight here, you know, this has got a couple of taps. It tapped over here. It tapped here. It's tapping here. I mean, this is a, this would be a pretty good support and resistance line right here. You know, since it's on a daily, I'd probably make it, um, a, I'd make it probably a green and I'd make it solid line and I'd mark it up there. It's like, okay, watch that price level. And look, it's at 175. So that's a, you know, it's at 175 in, in itself, just for the fact that it's a 75 is, is a pretty um, um, respected line. Here's another one here. Look at look at how this is. You can see my cursor going across the screen, how many times this is tapping here. So if I start it over here, or even over here, you can see as I go across how many times that hit. So that's another great support and resistance. What's the difference? Well, it's a resistance if you're trying to shoot through it. Support if you're trying to stay above it. That's what makes the difference, right? So, um, so there you have that if it was coming down the other way, right? Now, I will mark these out for, for scalping, but I kind of do it like once a week or once every couple of weeks for a stock on my trade because I'm more into the one and five minutes. So I'm just going to switch right over to a one minute here. So this is my one minute all set up, right? So um, right now we're back, we're going back uh, one day. So let's go back uh, three days and I want to do that so we can see how it did if we go back here and mark to see how it, ha how it worked as it kept going forward, right? So the market just closed the day as you can see. And then I have another chart down here that's the five minute for the same thing. So typically I will mark out on the five minute so I'm going to expand this, double click here to expand, right? So now we're on a five minute, but I think this might be set on, oh uh, yeah, it's just one day. So I should have started with the five minutes. So let's go back four days, say okay. So now we can get a really good look. So we're going to see how it compares to this day here, but we'll go back like three days. So what I would do is right here, I would have it on my price level line. I would mark this here. That is a definite high of day on an open session. And how I signify what's an open session is I just go OS high and I make it green and I'm going to make that line solid. So that's an open session. If it goes up here, look out. It hit it here, hit it here, and it hit it a couple times over here too, way back, more days back. Probably fairly well respected. So then we go into the pre-market and it looks like the pre-market was almost the same thing, but this is sort of the uh, line in the pre-market right around right here. And look at how it respected it in the open session. If you were just starting this day and you marked this, this is what I'm trying to point out by going back, how important it is um, to put these lines out to help you make the decision when you're scalping. So I'm going to say pre-market high, it's not officially the high, but, and I'll keep that dotted so I know it's pre-market, right? So really this well i think it might have been the pre-market high there yeah that was it all right so then the open now now i would mark pre-market low as well you know before that day started that's really important so here's your pre-market low 
So again, I would do that. I would keep it red. Now they do have little uh, different uh, scripts you can get that do that. Um, I'm modifying one right now um, because the other one that, that I see online I don't really like. Um, but I'm going to change it and I'll have that available. All my scripts on my channel are free and I have a lot of really interesting ones that, and I have videos about why. But anyway, so down here, open session. Let's mark that low, right? That's really important. So. That's going to stay red. I'm going to make it solid. The other thing you'd mark, and I won't mark out every single thing in here because then it'll be a really long video, but it takes about 15 minutes to go back and mark these things out. So say this was the day that we were going to trade, and I started back a couple of days, but then I marked some highs and lows like pre-market low there, and then I marked here. This would be pivot. Look at all the pivots here. Like it hit it. It wasn't a high. But it pivoted. And when I mark my pivots, and of course you can call these things anything you want, but I would just say uh, pre market. And I always make all my pivots white. If you're watching any of my videos, you'll know. And now I know it's not as well respected, but it might be. And look what happened it hit it and turned right around. So why wouldn't you want these lines? You know, you, marking the support and resistance lines makes you a better scalper. Without them, I would not be. I mean, I try to make between a thousand and five thousand a day. I'm pretty successful at doing it. I certainly have great big, huge red days, and but I make more than five thousand sometimes too. So generally, I'm successful. But yeah, uh, everybody, there's no way to get around the losses. Everybody hits the losses. So now, if I were to go on to trade. Tomorrow with Apple, you know, I'd be definitely marking that. I'd be seeing what the pre-market um, action was. I'd be looking, I mean, there's a lot of pivots here I didn't mark out. Like, look at this one here. This definitely would be a pivot that you could watch the next day. Uh, it looked like it, it looks like it kind of broke through, it came back, broke through, you know, it came back, tapped it a bunch. It, it actually, you know, this was a real, at the, at the moment, this pivot in the moment was like a pretty, pretty <laughs> respected pivot. Look at that. So it's pretty easy to see when you're going to go short, go long, when you have these lines, and then you wait to see on the first couple of taps, is this is this being respected? You know, and even if it dips through, you're you're always thinking, hey, this could come right back again, you know. So mostly in the morning after I do those long-term setups, like I, I showed you earlier, I'm just marking the one and five minute out, and then I'm getting ready to watch those at open session, and I'm only trading right here right that i'm only trading for you know as we get into the, these are this is these are oh, these are one minute increments i'm sorry so i'm going to trade up until like right yeah i had that wrong so i'm trading right up to here is where i would probably stop for the day so um you know where these lines are falling you know look at this look at this big one that's so well respected here you know so yeah they're not always exact but you know it's an area where there's going to probably be a turnaround and so you can either unwind or add, go sh go short when you're going long, reverse. You know, if you watch my videos, you see I reverse a lot when I'm getting near it. And I just reverse right back again if I've made a mistake. I think it's a very underused button. Um, all right, guys. Well, I hope, I hope this made sense to you. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Check out some of the other stuff. I've got a lot of really uh, helpful things. I'm just trying to do everything for anybody to scalp and make a living nothing's being charged for on my site and I'm trying to get enough subscribers so I can start live streaming. So I hope to see you out there. Thanks so much for watching.